but it was really popular. <laughs> Hi friends, it's Papa Dale, and we are going to travel through Forks, Washington. Here we are at the city of Forks, and they are welcoming us. Yada da da do! <laughs> Here's Papa at Forks Tillicum Park. Let's go on in and see what kinds of things are are to do in here. This locomotive is to honor the people who worked in transportation. This sign commemorates a tremendous fire that they had at Forks. Five, six, seven, eight places that we could play horseshoes. Apparently, this is a good place to have a horseshoe tournament. <laughs> what used to be a community swimming pool is now a community skateboarding park. Well, I'm sure glad they didn't have much of that when I was young. I would have killed myself. Ken M. Knorr Memorial Playground. Well, this is a very large community playground. This is an old growth tree 10 or maybe 12 feet in diameter huge tree as you move down the road you run into the twilight treaty line it was really popular and so I had to stop and get a little video of it Okay, Anthony Johnson, this one's for you. There's my Sully's burger. There's my Sully's fries. I hope it's as good as you think it is. <laughs> this is Forks International Airport. <laughs> no, not so, not international. Just uh, a small airport for small private planes. Look at that. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Got two planes sitting there side by side. You throwing rocks at me? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty nice looking. So this is the Forks Timber Museum. Having uh, more car troubles, so right now what I've done is I've uh, pulled the keys out of the car, locked the doors when I'm away from it, and let the, uh, let the car idle. Hopefully it won't die. And uh, I hope I can figure out soon what's wrong with it and get it repaired. But I guess when you come to Forks, it's the thing to do is to get your picture taken with the Welcome to Forks sign. So here we go. Now we got now we got our picture taken with the Welcome to Forks sign. 
There's some other interesting things out here. It looks like a little hobbit house. And we got another uh, old growth tree over here. The other one that we saw, I think, was bigger. Yeah, definitely. This one's still pretty big. Look at these guys. Oh, loggers were, uh, are <laughs> very, very strong, rough, rough neck people. Hi. Hi. It Help. is three dollars to go through the museum. It is. Yes. Oh no. I don't know. I'm retired. I'm on a budget. What's your senior rate? Three dollars. What? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. If you have any questions, let me know. Boy, it's a lot of stuff in here. Well, let's look in the bunkhouse here. Bunkhouse was the loggers' home. Here's a uh, scale model of part of a logging operation. Oh, this is a steam donkey. Steam donkey is what pulled the logs up by a steel cable. Anybody in here? Oh yeah. The outhouse. So this room represents pioneer life. It's not a a bunkhouse where the workers lived. This is more representative of where their wife and family would live. Oh, and we can go in here and we can have a beer. This is Art's Tavern. Native American canoe that the loggers found. And, of course, it was certainly in better shape. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. This is the ship's wheel from the SS Temple Bar. This looks to me like a uh, photo of Native Americans drying salmon. This is a CQ lookout. Oh, it's a fire observatory. What a lonely life. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for visiting. This was very interesting. Excellent. It's well worth the $3. Excellent. Thank you for visiting. Yep. Thank you. Bye. And Monday morning, first thing, 8 o'clock, so I'd have to leave here about 7.30. Um, Eagle Repair will be open. Those are the guys that came to, to tow me the other day, but then the car started back up again. But now uh, it's having, uh, having problems. So I parked it on the downhill going down into the Oxbow campground near where my RV is. And uh, in the morning, Monday morning, I will give it a push and get up some speed and go down this hill and put it in gear, pop the clutch, and hopefully it'll start.
So, I don't know what more I can do. If it doesn't start, I'll have to use the momentum of uh, the downhill, find a safe place to park it, and then have uh, Eagle come with the tow truck and tow me back to their shop. So I don't know, it, it acts like there is uh, a short somewhere in the system. Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. Battery seems to be strong. It's not a dead battery or a dead cell, I don't think. It's a short in the system somewhere. So anyway, that's all I know for now. In the meantime, I'm at the Ho Oxbow for another couple days more than I thought I would be. So, it's a beautiful place, so I'm just going to enjoy it. <laughs> well, okay, friends, it's the moment of truth. We're at uh, Eagle Auto Repair and Towing. These are the good people who have been trying to help me figure out what's wrong with my tracker. And I see it over there in the line of cars. I hope that that line of cars is a line of cars that have been repaired and not waiting to go to the junkyard. There's Juno, the shop dog. Hi Juno. How are you Juno? There's Miss Anna over there. Out here we probably have Josh and Tom. Hey Josh, I just uh, stopped by to tell you the difference between uh, Rialto and Ruby Beach. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, I had to go down there this morning to unlock the car, and I looked over there again and went, "Make sure I'm going to the right spot." <laughs> it's only 30 miles different. No big deal. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> 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 